Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Champagne. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and become a member of the family. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're a member of my channel, thank you so much for continuing on this journey with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So today I'm going to be doing my um, cash envelopes and getting the rollover, putting those into savings challenges, and then working on my 2024 financial goals, the challenges that I have in place to meet said goals. So we're also going to stuff um, the savings in my jam for my mini Mondays challenges. This is going to go into my Welk maintenance fees. So we're going to put that to the side. So let's see, I've already uh, transferred the money into my Ally account and switched it to prop money. So we have 100, five, and six that will be going in from this challenge and then in total between my cash envelopes and my 2024 financial goals we're going to be stuffing 50 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 so 280 90 300 310 315 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 so 350 351, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, and 57. So $357 we will be putting in different areas. Let me just fix this here. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, um, or weekend rather, since it is Sunday. I'm recording this later than I wanted to, um, but I want to make sure that I'm holding myself accountable and, you know, being consistent on filming and putting them out and keeping you guys updated where we're at so you guys because of the amazing people that have been supporting my etsy shop i was able to make a big payment towards the debt um, to drop it down my goal is to have this paid by the end of the month so that i can start working on my next one so i was able to make a payment of 707 dollars 41 703 of that went to the principal, $4.41 went to the interest, bringing the total down to $448. So I think I can hit that goal of getting this paid off by the end of the month. I do have orders still coming in and I do have a private duty case that I um, will be able to work a little bit extra for. And so I appreciate each and every one of you that have been supporting my etsy shop and everything else as well as my youtube you guys i truly appreciate you guys so very much this community and everybody a part of it is absolutely amazing so because of that we can color in four boxes so let me just get those markers out so we have yellow let's see blue purple and I uh, will just do two oranges. I guess that's yellow, but oh, it's yellow. So let me get the yellow. Okay. So how are you guys? How are you guys doing? I'm just going to color in parts of these because you already know. I'm trying to work with this natural light. It kind of seems a little bit darker to me. Um, but the light, when I put it on, it gives too many glares. I think in the camera, it looks okay. But just for me, it just seems a little darker. Or my eyes are just tired. One of the two. So let's color in 183. And this should leave us with four squares, I believe, or three. Well, let me finish coloring them and then get ahead of myself. So yeah, how's the weather where you guys are at? Uh, California has actually been okay this weekend, which is nice. I'm hoping it stays like this during the week. Uh, the week was so busy with work and it truly drained me mentally if you're not familiar i do work hospice and you know we do work with just difficult situations across the board um if you're not familiar with hospice hospices it's dealing with end of life and so you know we try and walk with the families on this journey because they're not easy and so sometimes we you know tend to carry some of that home with us but it's something that I will never get tired of as far as helping people in general. So, but yeah, so I tried to film this yesterday, but I was just, I just didn't have it in me to put it together. So we're going to do it today. I'm going to put it out late, but like I said, I want to make sure that I'm being consistent and, and keeping you all, keeping you guys on with my journey. So 
there we go oh, this just looks amazing so we have 174 174 and 100 to finish by the end of the month and i think that we could do it you guys i'm pretty confident that we can do it and i will next month is my magic month so i get three paychecks so i'll be able to start off the new debt payment with a big chunk of change being thrown at it so next we're just going to go over my monthly earned interest in my ally account so my sinking funds earned eighteen dollars and sixty three cents my holiday fund earned six dollars and thirty two cents my mini millionaires earned ten dollars and eighteen cents my emergency funds earned twenty four dollars and twelve cents and my vacation earned seven dollars for a total of sixty six dollars and twenty five cents this is why i use prop money because the money that's sitting there long term it just it's making me money so this is what I've earned so much so far this year and what I did I was putting this money towards a CD challenge for a CD ladder but I've since um, kind of walked away stepped away from that because I'm, I'm I have money kind of going in all different areas and so I want to focus on my three to six month emergency fund and once I get set with that then I'll start doing the CD ladder I may change my mind you know next month but for right now that's where my mind is so my mini millionaires always keeps their money so that stays with them once i get a hundred dollars in their account i divide it between the 10 of them for my sinking funds the 18 dollars i'm putting towards moving my holidays this six dollars is going towards mother's day the emergency funds this 24 i rounded it up to 25 dollars, and that is going to go towards rent so i'm going to um color on a sec uh, extra section in my 32 week binder in the bonus section uh, seven dollars for vacation is going to go to ground transportation or for renting a car and so that's where i put that money at so that is it for this one so i'm going to move that to the side so we're going to get into our cash envelopes so i don't know how but when i filled up i only had to put like fifty dollars and some change in which is kind of unheard of i i'm trying to think i thought i went to the office all week and i know i went to a couple places um for patient care but for for whatever reason i don't know <laughs> i don't know how i only had to put in 50 dollars to fill up my tank but so we have 20 45 46 47 48 49 dollars in gas left over food i did buy a small milkshake um, so I have $21 by small, I mean a kid size, um, beauty rolls over and then spending, we still have our 15. So let's see how much we have left over in total. So going towards, uh, savings challenges, we have a 20, 40, 60, 75, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85 dollars. I love to see it. So going back to the front, so every week I give myself $100 for gas. Uh, I haven't been spending the $100, but I like to keep it there just in case because again, my job, I do and can go all over San Diego County. And so I wanna have this in there just in case I have to fill up again. Um, I'm not so worried about lowering it because the money goes to savings challenges anyway. So it's kind of a win-win and it's, it's already budgeted. And my budget is, I keep to the same budget. So it's, consistent and for me it just works that way so i don't want to change this so food i give myself 25 dollars. i am on a low spend year and so i'm trying not to swipe as much as possible um thankfully the office i work in has a kitchenette that they keep fully stocked with foods and snacks and stuff so when i'm in the office i just kind of eat there um, beauty i give myself 25 dollars a week Beauty covers anything from personal hygiene and whatever's left over goes towards my hair that I get done every three months. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 75, 80. So $180 for beauty. Um, for nails, facials, and things like that, I do savings challenges and that's separate. So spending, I give myself $15 for spending and this is if, if anything comes up that I may need while I'm out. And then of course, uh, nothing going back to the bank. So then we're gonna move into our savings challenges and our 2024 financial goals, things that I'm working on for this year. 
Um, first, we're going to start off with our 2024 and 2024. I do have a timeshare, and so every other year I have to pay maintenance fees. The timeshare itself is paid off, um, but the maintenance fees I have to pay, unfortunately. So I'm saving $3,000. Uh, I'm not sure how much they're going to be come January, but I think $3,000 is a safe number. So I'm using the 2024 birds um, and then the taco binder that Ren and I created to make that $3,000. So this is partly where the this money is going to go well not partly but this money is going to go in here so we're going to do to do the 46 we're going to do the 46 the 25 and the 35 okay that's going to give me that 106 if i added it correctly in my head so we have a 46 and then 25 and then 35. So that's gonna take this right here. So we're gonna put this challenge to the side so we have 106, but I also budget month uh, weekly for this savings as well, and that is going to be $40. So we're gonna add $40 to this, and we're gonna mark off this 40 right here. So these two cards are now completed. So our Cedar Waxwing and our Yellow Warbler. I think that's how you say it. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. These are from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets as well. Um, but these can actually go to the back because these have been completed. And then this one will go to the front because we still need to finish that second one. So in total today going towards Welk in the 2024, we have 120, 45, and 46. So let me add this to here. And then so far with this challenge, we have 500, 700, 800, 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So 880 dollars. Next is our April. So this is from D over at D Plans and Budgets. She gave this out as a freebie. I think it's still linked in one of her videos, um, but it's for the entire year. So every month you save a little bit. I'm using mine to go towards an extra payment for debt. Um, everybody else that's using it has their own where they're putting it. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna use brown since I already have it open. It's not a very springy color, but that's fine. So each letter for this month is worth $5. Some of them you make your own total, um, and I'm just going along with what was on here. That is horrible, but that is okay. So we have $5, so we now have 5 10 and 15 for the first uh, debt payment in May. Then we're going to move on to Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is coming up, and so I want to put $20 into here. I originally started with... Uh, $10 for each flower, but I realized that was not going to be enough for all the mothers that I wanted to get flowers for. So I bumped it up to 20. Um, this one will be the last one, but I think I'm going to do another savings challenges up until Mother's Day. Whoops. Bracelet got stuck there. But we are going to add 20 here. So with this challenge, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. I love this challenge. This is from Elisha over at Hands and Bands. It was a forever freebie on her um, website. And then Father's Day, I'm not putting anything in there because we still have a little bit for fathers. So next is going to be the 1530 year-long challenge. This is from Renee over at Reinventing Renee. And every month you save $15 and $30 even in February. I love this challenge because you can start this challenge anytime during the year and just follow the months. It does not have to be started in January. And they're fairly easy numbers. The 30 can kind of get you depending on other challenges you're doing. But ultimately, it's, it's still very doable. So we have $15 going into here. So 10, 15. So we now have 100, 20, 30, 45, 50. So 150, and I will cross off the 15. And then towards the end of the month, we'll do the 30. All right. Next is going to be Halloween. These are my zombie challenges. I got this from uh, Renee over at Reinventing Renee here on YouTube or Budget Nerd Co. on Etsy. I love these. It was a It's a pack. Um, and we're just kind of slowly working our way through it. Halloween is a ways away, 
but I want to save for candy and decorations. I do give myself uh, $10 a week for this one. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I'll put these back. And then whatever of the 10 doesn't get used, I just put that back in my buffer. So let's see what we have here. So $3, so $7 will go back into the buffer. And then we'll add three to that next week to give ourselves the um, $10. Okay. So $3. So we have one, two, and three. I'm going to move this stuff to the side because I don't want to get it confused at the end because I will. So let's see here. So in here we, for Halloween so far, we have 50, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, and 92. So we've finished these three. And let me grab, I should have done this before. If you guys hear a loud bang, it's because I probably dropped everything in front of me okay so I'm just going to grab another one let's see um which one do we want to do let's do her so I'll put these back all right move that to the side and then we will add her to start for next week then we're going to move into our 2024 save $20 a month. This is this was a freebie from Save with Judy. So we're just moving along in April. So we'll put $5 in. So here we go. So we now have a 20, 40, 65, 75, 85 and 90. And once this is complete, it will be worth $300. Okay, so that is it for that binder. And let's move into our 52-week challenge. This is doubled. Um, this was a binder made from me and Ren. And so it's the 52 weeks, but we just doubled it. So there's also bonus sections in the back to give me an even 3,000. So the first one we're going to do in the back is this 25. So we're going to mark that off. And then we'll put 25 in there. So a 25 should have money in there already. So in the December with the bonus, we have 100, 250, 75, 76. So anytime I get extra money, I will try to put it somewhere in this binder so that I can finish early. My goal is to try and finish all my well, not all, but as many as as many as my goal challenges as I can early. So anytime I get extra money, it goes here. Um, but for this week, we are actually going to do $32. That's where we're at now in April. So we're going to do this 32. So we have a 20, 32. And I did make this prop money um, because my actual money that I was buying from Amazon, I was having to buy it too much and I knew that I was going to need money for this all year. So I just made my own prop money. Um, yeah, a little extra, I know. But it works and it saves me from having to buy more. So in April so far, we have 50, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. Is that right? Yeah. So $90. And again, this is going towards... Uh, my three to six month emergency fund for my second month of rent is what this challenge is for. Let's see. Let's go into our Christmas binder. This is another, uh, Ren and I have quite a few binders in the works, but the ones that we have already released is this uh, $1,000 savings challenge for Christmas. It's our, it's our uh, penguins. Uh, right now it's dashboards. We were doing... Um, the envelopes these ones here are just ones that didn't come out right so I figured instead of throwing away I'll just use them but the background is this because we changed it um, so it's not this background anymore but it's this but today we are going to be doing this oh forty dollars let me see I think 
I must have missed something because this should be 25. So I'll go back and look off camera, which is fine. So we're going to take this 25 here and then we're going to cross off this. So in here we have 50, 75, 80, which is correct. $80 is what this, is what this envelope would get. So let's put this here. I think I put wrong denomination somewhere. Um, let's see. So we still have our taco binder. This is the other uh, binder that Ren and I have created. Um, so this is Taco Tuesday. We have two different versions. One is each Tuesday of 2024. That's what you save. And then this one. Um, and then we also have, so this is the one that's the dated. And then we have undated. So the undated is just fives, tens, and fifteens um, that you save but let's see so $16 so let me see if I have any ones in here yes I do okay so I'm going to put the 20 in and I'm going to take four out so then we have 27 in here that kind of just worked out again I will look off camera to see where I messed up and maybe I just didn't put the right money in here um let's see okay so that's that for that so we don't need this. So next we're going to move into using our uh, rollover money for savings challenges. So we have a 20, 40, 60, 75, 80, 182, 83, 84, 85. So let's see. Let's... I did have my vacation binder here. So let me actually get some prop money. So uh, let's see here. So ground transportation, I do want to, because I already transferred it into my Ally account. So in my Ally account, I have a savings account just for vacations, and I have different buckets in it, and they are titled flight, hotel, food, tickets, shopping, car rental, gas, and miscellaneous. And so when I look at it, um, if I don't want to go online and I just want to see how much I have, I can just look in here, and it just shows me a visual representation of how much I have saved up for each one of these categories. So that's why I love using this system. So we have in car rental, we have 100, 5, 10, 12, 14, 15, and 16. So $116 um, towards car rental. We've already have 600 in flight, 600 in hotel. I think we have 300 in food. Tickets I'm not really doing anything with right now because we're, I'm going in August. I'm not going to be going to any amusement parks or things like that. So I'm just going to keep that money in there. Shopping we need to work on. I do need to get some more money in here. And then, of course, gas. So that is that binder. And then let's move into this binder here because I want to do some rainy day or actually hold on because you guys know I'm starting this uh, build a farm challenge every Friday and so I need to put some money aside for my farm so let's see I think I think I'm gonna do 20 yes I think I'm gonna do 20 for now and then if I get extra money I will add it during the week and then of course um, mini Mondays and uh, randomizer Wednesday I do have sections in there for my build a farm so I'm gonna put $20 to go towards my farm and then we'll move into our rainy day rainy day is also going towards um, that three to six month emergency fund and so let's see let's do 12 because that's the smallest we have or we have a little bit more money today so let's actually do this 22 let's knock that out oops Wrong one. All right. So this is cash. So I really need to get this to the bank um, so it can sit in the bank and not in my house. So we have a 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, 1, 62. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 162. Yes, I forgot what I said, so I had to recount it. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's do our Bigfoot. This is from Reinventor Renee as well. I already found Bigfoot. He was worth $10. So let's see. So we have $8 for Bigfoot. All right. So we'll just do the one. 
And this was a set, it came with three. So $8 going here, one, two, three. And there's not enough ones. So in here we have 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 76, 77, and 78. So you say how much Bigfoot's worth. There was three, so my first Bigfoot was worth five. My second big worth, Bigfoot is worth 10. And then my third one is gonna be worth 20. So he's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the first two. And then let's move into my mini millionaires. I do in, uh, have challenges for them across the board and all of my savings that I do. So they are gonna get $9. And again, my mini millionaires are my um, nieces and nephews. So let's see, so we have a dollar. So I'm gonna put one back and take a 10. So in this challenge, this is from Carlo, right? Sweet and sassy, but, but bleh, sweet and sassy budgets, sorry. Um, but I just love the watercolors. It's so beautiful. She did an amazing job. She also did the Wren Sanctuary, which I absolutely love. I have not gotten a chance to put this in yet to my challenges, but I will soon. Um, so definitely check her out. But in this challenge, we have 10, 15, 25, 30, 132, 33, and $34. This is worth $45 once completed. Uh, we finished the outdoorsy for my sister, so I'm not going to start one just yet. Um, I do want to put some money into my um, Pirate's Peach Eye Patch Challenge. This is from Authentic Allison Co. on Etsy or Authentically Allison here on YouTube. Love this challenge. It did have scratchers, which I completed. Um, so we're going to put $5. Hopefully there's a five. Yep. There's a five right there. Um, so I wanted to use this again. So in order to use this again, I'm just coloring over, um, what I had already scratched previously. So we have a 100, 150, 5, 65, 66. So $166 so far in here. Did I count that right? 150. Yes. All right, and then we're gonna roll this, the rest of this, which is $21. It is gonna go into our, the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend. And this book is going to, is I'm be using this book for my three to six month emergency fund for my third month of my bills. So I have them all separated in here. Um, they're all in increments of 20. So anything below 20 is going into this envelope. Once we reach 20, then it goes into its uh, the envelope and then I can scratch it off because each one is worth $20. So we have phone bill. Sorry, we're working on cable and internet now. We have phone bill, which is fully funded now for three months. Um, electricity, auto insurance, and then of course the rent is what we're working on. We have one month of rent right now. So let's go back here and let's see. So $21. So we already know because we of this 20, we'll be able to fill in um, an icon. Let's see. So we're here. So we've already finished this month out and I don't want to go into May yet. So I'm going to just do some coloring. And so let's see, this page is completely colored. That one's done. So let's do this one. So $20. Um, Let's see, that's 15, 20, 1. Okay, we can do that. So we can actually do this, this page. So I do intend on using this book again next year. And so the way I'm using it, because the scratchers, I'm going to re-scratcher. I'm going to re-scratcher them. I'm going to put more scratchers on them um, and then use them again because I'm not going to remember what the totals are underneath. And for the coloring parts, in order to be able to utilize it again next year, I'm only coloring in one half of the icon. So that way next year I can color in the second one and still use them. Um, so we're going to do all five. So I'll color the rest off camera. Um, but then we need to do, so that's 15. We'll do one set of hands and then one of these that'll be, let's see. So we'll do one hand. And then again next year, we will color in the second hand. And let's see. So the circles are worth two. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, and then these airplanes are one. 
So we'll do this color here. And we're going to color in only half of it. So it should be 5, 10, 15, 18, 21. So it worked out perfectly. So we'll put this to the side. And this is from Marlene over at Snow Garner 307. Absolutely love it. It's, it's so wonderfully made. It's beautiful. The pictures are beautiful. It gives you 12 months and there's challenges on the back of each of them. They're either color in or they're little mini games. So absolutely love this, this book so much. So, okay. So let's put this here. Let's see how much we have. Whoops, I always pull this out. I didn't mean to pull this dashboard out. All right, so we have 25, 35, 36, 37, 38. So we'll take this 20. This will go, this 18 will go back in the envelope. And then we will get the tracker here. We will add it. Each icon is worth $20. So we are doing this one here. Where is, oh, it fell. Okay. So let me do it on here because I don't want it to bleed through. Um, okay. So now for the third month of our um, cable and internet, we have 20 and 40. All right, you guys, and that's it. That We made it through our rollover money, our cash envelopes, our 2024 financial goals, the savings challenges that we're using to um, meet those goals. I thank you guys so much for being here. I know this was a little bit longer, but I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking through these longer videos. I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week. Be blessed, and until the next one, bye.